like when I when I was there one day, Soldier and Crazy came came in, and um, I be joking, you know what I'm saying. So when they walk in, I was like, I was like, um, y'all are big dogs. I ain't nobody. So Slim, he came over there. He was like, who? Mobo Joe, he's like, man, we come up on lower level, rootless juvenile, doghouse pods, yada, yada. You know, just running it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, I'm gonna get at you one time, man. Uh, when it comes down to the music, man, I see you with the Mo Mobo Camp record. I mean, I, I came down there and I interviewed Sharani at Peaches. Love me. And I was blessed to have the opportunity to, you know, have these beautiful children. Mm -hmm. And they worked hard. That's a team work manager. And Gloria, I have to give me said they worked. They worked hard. They worked hard. hard. They, they worked, worked their hard. They worked. Off. They weren't just sitting there. I mean, I'd call Master Pete when there's a new release. Even at twelve o'clock at night, he'd bring the stuff to me. He would deliver the stuff to me. You know. That's uh, my yeah. yeah. I, I mm -hmm. interviewed Sharani and uh, I interviewed uh, a Mac and K. You know, I, I do all of New Orleans. You know, people don't mm -hmm. realize how because I'm where I'm from, I'm so close to New Orleans, I mean, so close to Louisiana, mm -hmm. that I always had a love for Louisiana and Texas. So I'm, I'm five miles away. So at the end of the day, when I go down through Gray and go down to Vivian, Louisiana and cut and go back up LA-1 to Shreveport, mm -hmm. and, and I might come to Nat Natchitoches or, or I might come to, you never know, I might go to Alexandria or, or Monroe or yeah. I might go to New Orleans, but I'm just saying, I love the fact that we so we so close together, man. That it's hard to separate. And we love each other. People don't realize it. Lose Allen, when you, you think about Pimp C and and and, and them linking with uh, Master P and them back in the mm -hmm. day. We are gonna get into all that. But I wanted to ask you, like, like what did Peaches Records? Uh, how was how was it uh, when y'all first? You know, you've been knowing a long time. But how was that? Just linking with her and be it going by the store and just how y'all came up. Oh man, it was it was love um, with Sharani. You know, going to Peaches Records because um, she um, like she puts a lot of a lot of local music out. She puts a lot of a lot of um, music out, local music. She had pushed a lot of mu music out, you know, local music and stuff. And believe it or not, when I came up in prison, I was working now with Mr. Sharon. What? Yeah. Uh, I was you worked Mr. over there? A lot of people uh, went through that shit. I met, I met uh, Rest in peace. I met Soldier Slim now. I met Crazy. Well, I had met Crazy years ago, but I met them then when I was working there. Like wow. Two, like 2000, 2001, I worked for Mr. Sharon. So everybody came to that shop. I used to be there too, huh? How long was you there? Uh, I might have still been Mr. Ronnie, maybe a year or so. Okay, so there. you was there when Mia came, was working there? Yeah, I know Mia from there too. Uh -huh. So y'all was working together? Yeah, uh huh. I mean, I, well, I mean, I was she, Mia. did she work or was she lazy? Uh, let's Ooh, talk Mia, about Mia. 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 Yeah, Mia, Mia, Mia get down, man. Mia, 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 <laughs> Mia, 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 This when you Mia, 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 at the at Rock the Bells concert last year, cause she had a party for one of our kids there. And man, she's, I think she's doing a kid for like 30 something years old or something. I said, wow, wow. time fly. Uh -huh. Yes, I think she had a restaurant or something out mm -hmm. here they was telling me she, about. Yeah, she, she, she be doing the food and all that. And stuff. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. she wow. Be, um, the food out there too. So what, mm -hmm. what shift did she work? Did she come in before you or after you? Um, she came in the evening time. In the evening she time, you evening already been in the evening time. No, no, oh, because I was working two jobs. I was working in the daytime. Then I used to go hang out by Sharani in the evening time, which we always did. That we was doing the music mm -hmm. and all that too. So she was like, "Mobo, why you don't just get a job, y'all?" <laughs> okay, give, give <laughs> me like, give me a, a time when some music came out that y'all was both excited about that hit hit Peaches store because it it was a time when something came. Y'all like, man, that that thing it finally came to the store. Um, what you talking about That's when I was working? Yeah, when you was working there. Um, when you love music, man, you it, it's certain things, certain times that come, the music is, is so dear to at us. That, at that time... Come on with I it, was man. Real, I was on Soldier real hard. Oh, so Soldier came out with something. Yeah, I was on Soldier Slim real hard. Uh -huh. He came out, I think that's when he left No Limit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was on that one. I was on that one real hard. Wow. He says you knew him when you was there. Cause I you met him. You met him when you were there. I so tell me a story about him. Man, I tell a Sam story because, like, when I when I was there one day, Soldier and Crazy came came in, and um, I be joking, you know what I'm saying? So when they walk in, I was like, I was like, um, y'all are big dogs, I ain't nobody. So Slim, he came over there. He was like, who? 
Mobo Joe, he's like, man, we come up all lower level, rootless juvenile, doghouse pods, and yada yada. You know, just running it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, all right. He's like, yeah. Yeah, so he was um, you know, telling me that and then he said he was up there in Angola with um Foe Shop from Rootless So he juvenile. had been who you talking about, a soldier? Yeah, so he had been locked up. Yeah, he had been locked up in a couple prison. Of time. Yeah, he was in Angola with Rootless Juvenile, with Foe Shop and Rootless Juvenile mm -hmm. too. But he was telling me then he was like, Well, I didn't make it to the walk with Fo to holler at him, but he said he heard he was getting out. So when he get out, he wanted to drop something. You know wow. what I'm saying? So, so mm -hmm. was, was the music is, because uh, you, you hear these stories about Soldier Slim. Was the music, I mean, you, you say you was waiting on the album. It was in anticipation for his next project. Yeah, yeah. He, he had to sit on, on his back at that time. What's yeah. his best album to you? Um, I can't think of the name. Our best I'm song. Trying to think of, I'm trying to think of the songs. I'm not my dog. That was my That's favorite. That's your favorite? One. Yeah, because the thing about it, my youngest son, I had him on a real tough one. That was, <laughs> we know we'd be rapping into each other and going back and forth, and that was his own. Um, that was our favorite one. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.